oh a running joke among our friends we usually say you see how people say oh i want to find my boas in our circles we're like oh i want to find my condelia skins <laughs> anyway Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Cynthia Kimola and today I'm going to recap for you the revival tour KE that happened on February 11th and 12th with the Lindsay's. <laughs> yes. So Heather and Cornelius Lindsay came to Kenya and let me just start from the beginning when they put on their Instagram and social media accounts that they'd come to Kenya. They mentioned a couple of countries, but all I saw was Kenya. Kenya! Kenya! I first came to know Heather in 2013 when I was contemplating living a relationship that had was way past its shelf life. You know those relationships where you just stay in, but you know you should break up, but you're just there, you're like, uh, 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 I don't know if I, if I should do it or not. But finally, I made a decision, and after I left, I, I had a bit of an identity crisis because I didn't know what to do next. I, I, I wasn't sure about myself and also I wanted to reconnect with God and I wasn't sure if he'd still love me because I was in that relationship which was in glorifying him. And thus I stumbled upon Heather Lindsay's blog. She also went through the same um, tribulations that I was going through but she had overcome them and what she was um, telling girls how they can live their lives for Jesus and how they can um, leave these relationships that they felt weren't glorifying God. That's how I knew Heather Lindsay and the handsome husband Cornelius Lindsay. A running joke among our friends we usually say you see how people say oh I want to find my boas in our circles, we're like, oh, I want to find my Cordelia skins. <laughs> That's just be beside the point. Anyway, on the day of the event, my girls and I had coordinated what time we'll be there because we knew if we want to sit, to get good seats, we need to be there early. And it was starting at 1 p.m. all the way till 7. Sitam Valley Road is where Hope FM is and that's where my friend Rhoda Kidula works and she was finishing up with her work. So I went there first to say hi and I also met Pauline. They are going for the hen Heather and Cornelius Lindsay. Revival, Revival tour. tour. Are you excited and about it? Yes. Like me, I can't contain <laughs> myself. I want they are here. Huh? I think it's from Canada. It's no, it's, it's US. Yes. So okay. she hasn't been following me. It's I like I'm been their been auntie. Been. Those kids know me. I like the, every single page, <laughs> every single post. This is Rhoda and Pauline. We yes. Are Hope FM yeah. Media. Hey. It is expected. Lisa and Cornelia. <laughs> Okay, sawa. Watch out, na kujia poko eh. We had a lot of music. Mwanga the band were there. We had kelele uh, takatifu. <laughs> also, one thing that I loved so much about that weekend is we danced. <laughs> I loved most was the preaching first on day one Heather Lindsay is the one who preached and she talked to us about unfinished boats she was referencing um, Genesis when God told Noah to to build the ark and God gave Noah specific instructions for the ark 
and he followed each to the letter. So she was challenging us how many of us have been given specific instructions by God to do something this way or to leave a certain situation and we are not. And we end up in our backyards with so many unfinished boats, you see? And that's what we do. We begin to argue back with God about the instructions he gave us. Who told you to build the boat? He did. And that's the thing. If we want the will of God and the Father, if we want to do what he wants us to do, we have to take his instructions and stop trying to argue them. God, I need, I need my life to be like this, and it doesn't look like it, so because it doesn't, I'm going to help you out, God. What if no one did that? God to help you out. I'm going to make a canoe instead. So it got me thinking, by the way. Um, if I'm thinking of maybe starting my own website, starting my own YouTube channel, making amends with certain people, and I am not doing that, I'm piling up so many unfinished boats. And if I don't have a finished boat, then God won't sail me through or uh, take me through one situation to another. So that was day one. It was phenomenal. But all this footage I've gotten it from the apostrophe Kenya Facebook uh, account. Um, on day two, Pastor Cornelius Lindsay talked to us about um, don't let the fire die out. And he referenced, he talked about dry bones and how God was talking to Prophet Ezekiel and telling him to prophesy and tell these dry bones to get up and to breathe and all that. And then he went back and took us to Leviticus where at the altar, um, part of the instructions were, were um, the priests were not supposed to let the fire run out, the fire to go out. Their work was to ensure that the flame was always on. When it says when it says to keep it burning continually, that means continuing something without interruption. Because the world tries to throw everything your way to try to interrupt the fire that's burning. The problem is that we come to many events like this. And while we can be revived in the midst of the assembly, we leave back and we act like what we heard or what we experienced is not something that we should live. So we go back to where we are from and we assume that we don't have a part to play. And also it was don't let your fire run out and then every morning go and remove the ashes. So when you remove the ashes, it means that there is now space for the for the fire to work through well, to ignite well, you know. There'll be no unnecessary smoke because the chamber is clean. So the same way for us, remove your failures, remove your heart, remove um, anxiety so that you have a clean place and a nice place where you can be able to listen to God's word and the Holy Spirit can actually touch you and revive you. So that was something which connected from the wife talking about unfinished boats and Cornelius talking about don't let the fire run out. So basically they were here to rally us on, to still have our hearts and our minds um, to be excited about God's word and just to live our lives boldly. That's what I took out from it. And there's this quote um, that I wrote down, Pastor Cornelius, he said, if it's good news, why don't we talk about it? You see, if the gospel is good news, why aren't we bold enough to talk about it? Why aren't we, why are we ashamed of the gospel? You see, so if it is good news, why don't we talk about it? So the, the next footage that you're going to see, I was using my point and shoot, it's a Sony. So I got to, I asked my cousins and a few friends that I found there to give me a vox pop of what they thought about the experience. I've been blessed because I feel like I'm a new person, like they came all the way here to me, in a way. And uh, yeah, it feels amazing to see someone you see on social and you see them in real life. Okay. Although I didn't see long at this place, but it's just awesome. Yeah, I really love it. And Edwin, <laughs> as a man, since you guys are the minority. <laughs> I, I, first time uh, seeing them this close, I don't follow them, should this to them. Uh, but uh, they really drew me to God's presence. Mm -hmm. They disappeared and all their big names and uh, drew me to God's presence. I, I, I have watched I have loved this. I want to be there for day two. Ah, oh, me too. Yay! Good. Good. I'm so glad we, I mean, I can't believe it's free, you know, like, <laughs> it's really, really 
<laughs> All right, yeah. thank you guys. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> And I hope you guys enjoyed my recap of the Revival Tour KE. A few shout outs again, Wangeshi of Apostrophe, all the volunteers, the organizers who made it possible. You guys did such a phenomenal job and we can't wait to see what will happen again in 2018 because the Lindsay said that they're coming back. You know, I'm trying to learn Swahili because I feel, I feel left out. <laughs> so next year when we come back, <laughs> So guys, um, if you attended the revival tour at Sitam Valley Road, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you came and what was your take home from the two, the two of them. What touched you the most and what did they help you to um, remember some stuff? Did they help you to walk out into 2017 boldly? Did they challenge you? Did they inspire you? Any anything? Just let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe, like, comment, share these videos.